So this is the Parweld XTT182DV machine. Uh, weld any sort of steel, stainless steel, nickel alloys up to about four millimeters thick. Uh, it's dual voltage, which makes it ideal for uh, site use. It'll run on 110 or 240 volt with a, a smart switching system. With the machine, uh, you get a two meter uh, mains input cable, a work return lead, and a uh, gas hose with um, clamps and a uh, plug. So you, if you're not purchasing it with a Powell torch, it means you can fit your existing uh, torch onto the front of the machine. If you buy the machine as a package, uh, it then comes with a Parweld uh, ProGrip Max uh, TIG torch. Uh, this torch is a fantastic torch, really flexible. It's got a leather cover on the cable, makes it very flexible, easy to, e easy to use, and comes complete with the correct connections to fit on the front of the machine. Going through the controls on the machine, on the back of the machine, you've got the on-off switch and the gas connection. And then on the front of the machine, you've got a, a main amperage control to increase or decrease the amperage. You've got a downslope control, which also controls the pulse gas. So uh, when you uh, increase the downslope, you also increase the pulse gas function. Then you've got a couple of toggle switches at the front here. Uh, this one toggles between HF start and lifting mode. And then this one gives you the option of MMA welding, 2T TIG welding, or 4T. Obviously in 4T mode, you can press once and release the trigger uh, to weld and then press again to, to stop. Then on the bottom of the machine, you've got the positive and negative connections for the, uh, the torch and work return lead. Okay, so we're going to connect the torch now. Um, the torch power cable needs to be connected into the uh, negative connection on the front of the machine. It's really important you connect it to the negative connection, otherwise you're, uh, you'll find your electrodes consume pretty quickly. Gas connection onto there, then the uh, trigger connection. Spin that around. And lock it up. And then finally, the work return lead goes into the positive connection when you're uh, with TIG welding. And now the machine's ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to do a, uh, a quick demonstration weld uh, with the, uh, the machine. This one will switch it on at the rear. Get a small gas purge. Uh, just the amperage to around 60 amps. Uh, down slope, we'll put that about midway. Make sure in HF mode, 4T, and uh, it's ready to weld. So let's just put out a small fusion weld. Uh, let's demonstrate the machine. We're in 4T mode, so at the start of the background current, release the trigger, goes up to the welding current. Just going to stir this along a little bit. And press the trigger, goes into down slope, final current, release the trigger, arc off. 